Hey, crypto family. So today's video is gonna be about the Phantom Wallet. I'm gonna go over how to create it from scratch, what it is, the advantages it has over other decentralized wallets like Solit.io or Solong. And then I'm gonna go over after creating the wallet, actually a wallet with some other crypto in it where you can actually see the real-time results of some of its features. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first you can go to their Twitter, it's at Phantom. And you see they have 31,000 followers. And I wanna mention going to their Twitter because this is one of the best ways to access their website directly. You know you're not being spoofed, you know it's the right Twitter. Um, so just go to at Phantom and then you'll see phantom.app. Go ahead and click on that and you'll come up to this page here. This is their homepage. Now you see, since I'm on Microsoft Edge right now, it says add to Edge. If you're on Chrome, it'll say add to Chrome, etc. And if we scroll down, we can actually see all of these features that the Phantom Wallet has. So it's non-custodial. We never have access to any of your data or funds ever. You can use token swaps. It can, it'll display your NFTs in the wallet. You can stake Solana in it, Web3 support, which is huge, and then Ledger support as well. So you can see they have a lot of useful features. Their user interface is actually the best I've seen of any decentralized wallet. So, and I'm not just saying that. It's actually really good, really intuitive. Uh, you'll see that when I go over that. And then you click on security and you'll see that we never have access to your funds or private keys. Again, they're a self-custodial wallet. Your private keys are encrypted on your device by your password and are never shared with anyone. They're independently audited. If any of y'all ever heard of Kupletsky, they are amazing auditing firm and they are top notch. Go ahead and Google them. Um, and for these guys to be audited by them, that is saying a lot. That's saying they're very respected and trusted. And it says built to protect you from your own mistakes. So the way they engineer it basically helps you to make these unintentional mistakes and kind of guide you in the right direction. So first you wanna make sure that you try it for whatever browser you're looking for. So Edge, again, that's where we wanna try it. So once you click that, you'll be given to this app store here. So you can see Phantom and I've already added it. Now it says add from Chrome um, beforehand. And basically what it, that does is it'll take it from the Chrome web store and add it to your internet, to your Microsoft Explorer Edge. So again, it's cross, um, Cross compartmental, you can install it on whatever browser you're using. And basically once you install it, it's gonna show up in the top right. Now you can't see it right now, but in the top right, um, there's actually, uh, when I click it, it'll bring me to this page here. And now it says create new wallet or use secret recovery phrase. Now I wanna emphasize this. If you already have, so you already have a Solet wallet, cause I know a lot of people, that was the first wallet they created. And then they switched over the Phantom afterwards. Well, all you have to do is use your secret recovery phase. And then after you use that, you, you know, you have that phrase, that 24 word, uh, 12 to 24 word phrase that you can just copy paste um, in here. And then you'll import your wallet. So say anything you have on your Solet wallet, now it's gonna show up on your Phantom wallet. So very, very useful there. Now, if you don't have any decentralized wallet at all, then go ahead and create a new wallet. So we're gonna click create new wallet. And then from there, we can see here's our secret recovery phrase. Now, again, this is just a test wallet, so uh, don't get excited here, but here's our recovery phrase. So again, basically you can just copy paste this to another thing. So basically what I can do from here, um, we'll say we can just copy it there, go ahead and, or you can just click it right here. So it's copied. Okay, I saved it somewhere. And then you'll use this to unlock your wallet. So password, confirm password. So let's just make a password, okay and then agree to the term of service and save. And okay, it must be eight characters long. So we'll go ahead and change that. And there you go. And then you're not done. Then look, you can follow them on Twitter or join their Discord. And now we're done, okay? So now you'll see the Phantom Wallet is open. From there, all you'll do is you can see here that we have deposit soul. So soul is going to be the first thing that you wanna use whenever you create your uh, wallet addresses because it does cost Sol to create different wallet addresses, okay? It's used to pay for transactions and also to add wallet addresses. So that's why it says the first thing you have to do. So if you click deposit Sol, we'll go ahead and click that and then send from wallet or exchange or deposit from FTX. So we'll say send from wallet or exchange. So now it gives you a wallet address so you can send that Sol, okay? So now, now, right now it's named wallet one. I'll go over how to change the name of your wallet, create new wallets, et cetera, in a minute. But first we can click copy or at the very top here, if you just click, click right there, then your wallet address is copied. So all you have to do is once you send your Solana over, then your Solana will show up right here and then you'll be able to add different wallet addresses if you want. 
Now, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to another wallet that I have so you can actually see the features firsthand of creating wallet addresses and the features that the Phantom Wallet provides. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. All right, so now here's a wallet that has actually some crypto in it. So you can see when she has her crypto, you can see the total dollar amount that it has and then what percentage you're up for the day and then all of your crypto that you have. Now I wanna stress that wallet address that you have at the top, that's gonna be the same for any of your crypto that you are receiving, okay? so. If you click any of these cryptos and click receive, then you will have the same wallet address up here. So it's kind of like MetaMask in a sense that on the Ethereum mainnet, you have the same wallet address, while on the Solana mainnet, you do have the same wallet address right there. So again, here's some features. You can see the coins that you have. Now, if we click this little three, three little bar here, you can see I have two accounts, so different accounts here, and you can just click add or connect wallet to add another account. So very, very intuitive there. Now next, we'll go ahead and click on the next options. This will display your NFTs that you have. So this is a great feature that I like because if you bought some NFTs, say you bought them on OpenSea um, and you've connected your wallet or you bought them on a different, um, basically a decentralized uh, NFT platform and you connected your phantom wallet to it, well here, your NFTs will be here. Again, if you used your Solet wallet and bought some NFTs and then you import that Solet wallet using those seed phrases, then it'll show up here. So again, very, very intuitive. Next, a big feature of the Phantom Wallet is actually being able to swap, okay? So say I wanna buy some Solana here. Well, I can actually use say 100 USDC and look, it's gonna give me 2.24 Solana and I can review my order and then I can continue and transact there. So very, very simple and look at that. Estimated fees, barely anything because it's on the Solana network. So very, very useful. Um, you don't have to go to any other platform, decentralized platform to do it. You can do it directly on Phantom. Next. Let's go over this lightning symbol here. This will tell all of your transactions, okay? All the transactions you had when you had them, and it's basically, you can click on it and it'll bring up the Solana, basically similar to Etherscan, the Solana scan, and you'll be able to see exactly what the specifics were of your transactions. Next, let's go over settings. So I mentioned changing the name, right? Well, you can change the name here. If you click the edit button, you can name it whatever you want. So I can say, okay, this will be my, you know, say main wallet, okay? And then from there, that's gonna be my name from there. Cool, you can see the name pops up here, okay? Very easy to keep track of your different wallets or say, hey, for deposits, this is my FTX wallet, right? And then you have like a Binance wallet or something there. Just different wallets to help you identify what it is. Next, trusted apps. So you know whenever you connect to a website, say uh, connect to Radium, and it says, do you wanna automatically approve transactions? Well, usually you select no on that um, unless you really trust a website. If you trust a website, then you're going to click here and click auto approve. So auto approve, what that's gonna do is say you swap a coin, say USDC for Solana, for example. Well, usually there's a pop-up that pops up on the left side and you need to click approve and then it's kinda like a gas fee, basically. Well, for here, if you click auto approve, then all that's gonna happen is, say you transact on Radium and you swap a coin, it's automatically gonna go through. You're not gonna have to wait for approve and then go through. So again, on really trusted websites, you can click auto approve. I don't click on anything just cause I always like to be safe. Um, but it tells all the websites you've connected to with your Phantom wallet. And basically you can pick that access from here. So with that, let's go ahead and go back. Next, change password. So again, you can change your password, current password, and then type in new password, confirm password, very easy there. And then auto lock timer. So this is basically, say you walk away from your computer and say you're in a crowd, you're at a party, um, you don't want anyone accessing your wallet. Well, you can actually say, hey, okay, after one minute, then this wallet is gonna lock and it's basically gonna make them or <laughs> you, when you come back, retype your password. So that's a good security feature. I love that Phantom Wallet has that. Next, there's going to be a change network. So this change network basically means you're on the mainnet Solana, um, kind of like changing between, again, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Matic, again, um, same concept there. If you want to connect to different networks, just change that and you can choose accordingly. Now, this last thing here, you have export private key, show secret recovery phrase, remove wallet. So this is if you create another wallet, but you want to remove it afterwards uh, for whatever reason, uh, just like I'm making this video. Again, I'm going to remove the wallet that I just, the test wallet that I made. Um, you can click remove wallet there. Very intuitive, very simple. Um, and then reset recovery phrase if uh, for some reason you lost it or, or you just don't want, want it for some reason. Um, but again, 
show secret recovery phrase this uh, keep this recovery phrase very very close um, i would not put it on the computer i would write it down put it in a safe somewhere put it in a secure location um, because again this recovery phrase someone can open your wallet or import your wallet with this and then again same for the private key so definitely keep these close to the chest but this is good if you forget them or you forgot where you put them well at least you can show it here and copy it down again if you're logging on say from your laptop and you need to import your wallet well there you go very easy there so you can see a lot of these features are very, very intuitive. Again, Phantom Wallet is super user-friendly. I love it. Um, it's a great wallet, a lot of cool features, and they're just getting better. Um, again, it's kind of like all-in-one, and you can actually see all the coins that you have, okay? So it's very, very simple. It breaks everything down very clearly. Um, so I like it better than Solet, but again, to each their own. Uh, but if you had any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, please let me know uh, if you're having trouble with your Phantom Wallet, if there's any issues, I can definitely help with you on that. Again, you can contact me on Twitter at the Crypto Data. Uh, make sure to follow Phantom Wallet at Phantom. Uh, you make sure to contact them all as well for any questions. Join their Discord. Um, it's very lively. There's a lot of good people in there. Again, you can scroll all the way down. You can see their social, Twitter, and Discord bottom here. So um, you can follow them on there as well. And then please subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it, guys. And until next time, thanks for watching.